everyone, so today is quite the chill day. I wanted to film this haul because I have a bunch of stuff that I haven't had a chance to film and talk about. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I have is a package from Clinique. Here we go. I think this is a summer gift bag, but it's like gigantic. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. <laughs> So this will be good because I'm actually going to Vegas next weekend and I wanted like a new pool bag type thing. So this is actually really nice and it's cute and very summery. And then this was I think like a free gift. It's just like a little pouch thing um, that is matching with this guy right here. So let me put this one aside. And then the reason that I ordered from Clinique is because I've been using some of their stuff. My aunt got me like a set for Christmas and I haven't been using Clinique products since maybe like middle school and that was like I was using their mascara or something like that. And then I just never went back to it because I never just, I don't know, I just didn't want to I guess. And then my aunt got me that set during Christmas and I really really liked it so I was like oh I should get another one of those. So this is what I ended up getting. This is the summer set or whatever, as I was talking about. Okay. So first thing that I received is this All About Eyes. This is an eye cream and I've been using this one. I have another one that came in that set that my aunt gave me. So I've been using it a little bit, not too often because I haven't seen like too much problems with me and my eyes yet. I'm still young. But I should probably start doing the care kind of stuff now, right? Before I get old. And then second thing I got is this glossware. It's a pink lip gloss. Maybe it will not focus. Go! Okay. And then let me swatch that for you too. I don't think I've ever used Clinique lip... Oh my gosh, it's so gooey. I don't think I've ever used Clinique lip products either. So this will be interesting. Here we go. It's like a sheer pretty pink color. I'm not sure how it will end up on my lips. I would swatch it for you on my lips right now, but I'm wearing something obviously, so maybe it will not show up so much. And then next thing I got is Super City Block Coil-Free Daily Face Protector in 40 SPF. This is actually really good because I recently bought like a Neutrogena sunscreen to replace my Tony Moly, I think, sunscreen, but I hate that one. It's so heavy and oily and greasy and I already have oily greasy skin so that is not doing well for me and it's called like Age Shield or something like that I do not recommend it, I will talk about it sometime other another time but yeah, hopefully this will work well for- oops, wrong side hopefully this will work well for me because I really hate that sunscreen and I want a new sunscreen for summer so there's that and then High Impact Mascara this is actually something that I was using um, I think in the beginning of the year so if you watch some of my videos where my, where my eyelashes are like super long and super curled and up, it's probably this mascara. So that's basically why I wanted to get it again is because I just really liked it. So here's what it looks like. Okay, and then the last thing is this, which I'm quite excited about. So I'm actually not too heavy of like an eyeshadow wearer. If you can see on my eyes, I usually wear like two colors and it's usually some kind of color in the crease and then some kind of color on the eyelid, but not too crazy about it. And um, I have the Naked palette, Naked 2, but like I said, I don't use eyeshadow that often. So this is something that I'm quite excited about. This is the Clinique's Eyes, All About Eyes palette. Look how pretty it is. It's like very summery and shimmery, but there's also some matte shades here. I just took the plastic off, so maybe you can see the colors a little bit better. I'm pretty excited to use this because, oh, sorry about that. I've never used a pink eyeshadow on my eyes, and I'm not sure how that will turn out, but maybe if it doesn't look well, look good on my eyes, I could just use it on my cheeks or something like that. But I've been using the Clinique eyeshadow All About Eyes palette that I have. Do I have it here with me? Yeah, I do actually. So this is the one that came in my, the other one, the one that my aunt gave me. It has that stupid mirror effect. <laughs> but it's called like Strawberry Shortcake or something like that. So this is usually the color that I wear all over my lid. And if I feel like it, I will wear this on the inner, inner eye or something like that. But I realize I haven't been talking to the camera. Anyway, so I really like the formula of this and I was really surprised. So that's why I wanted to get this set because it comes with, you know, everything everything and it comes with an eyeshadow which is what I wanted to try so I'm pretty glad that I got that so there's that and then I got 
Oh, actually, this is the mascara that I was talking about previously. It's called the Lash Power Mascara, and this is a kind that creates fibers around your individual eyelashes. And then when you take your mascara off, you just rinse it off with warm water. So you just like close your eyes, put warm water, and then slide it off. And it's really easy because I hate, hate waterproof mascara. It's like a big passion of mine to not get waterproof mascara because it's just a bitch to take off. But this one really does lengthen and like curl, hold that curl on your lashes. But it also comes off really easily, which I love. So I got one for myself and then one for my mom. And then the last thing that I got, I think this was a sample, I don't remember, but this is the Black Honey, yeah, Twinix Black Honey, which is like a really famous color, so it's supposed to be like super suitable for everyone. They say Black Honey, but I would say it's kind of like a dark, mauve reddish, purplish color. Let me swatch it on my hand. Yeah, it's super, super sheer, maybe you can't even tell that much. So this is Black Honey, and then that is that gloss that I was showing you earlier. So I think this was a sample. I want to say that it was. Yeah, but I, I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so that's the end of Clinique stuff and let me move on to something else. So I went home for spring break, which was three months ago almost, and my mom had just come back from Japan at that time, so she got me some stuff that I haven't showed you yet. So I just wanted to quickly show you. These are some socks that are super cute, so R because my name is Rina, obviously. And then Hello Kitty because she knows that I love, love, love Hello Kitty. And then lastly, she got me this pair of bunny socks. Bunnies are my favorite creatures and my goal in life is to own a bunny. And then I told, I told my dad that like my dream is to have a bunny. And he said, okay, graduate college first, like make that your dream first, and then you can go and get a bunny and do whatever you want. I was like, okay, dad. So yes, bunny. I was so happy that she got this for me. And my dad was like, that's so weird. Like, it's so realistic. Like, do you want to walk around with the rabbits on your feet? I was like, yeah, why not? Anyway, so these are the socks. And then I really wanted to talk about these. These are the eyeliner. This, this is the eyeliner that I've been using on an everyday basis since I came back from Korea. So the thing is, I bought um, the, what is it called? Cleo Black, like Kill Black or something like that, eyeliner. And I wanted to try a liquid liner. And the first time I did that was in Korea when I bought that because I heard that it's super black, super pigmented, very smooth, easy to use, whatever, whatever. And you know, liquid li liner is notoriously difficult to use, right? So I wanted to get a pen liner and I got that Cleo one. And I didn't like it as much as I thought it would, and it's not as black as I would have liked it to be. So when I went to Japan, I was like, oh, I want to try a different eyeliner, and I went shopping with my friends. I will link it over here. And then my friend, Mintaro, helped me pick out a just regular eyeliner that happened to be like number one on the cos Cosme ranking, which is like some kind of cosmetics ranking. And this is the best eyeliner I have ever used. And I've used like, I don't know, in terms of eyeliners, I've used a ton. In terms of liquid eyeliner, I haven't used so many, but this is so, so amazing. And I really, really recommend it to you guys. So I basically told my mom to go and pick me up like a bunch of them. So I think she got me three total, but I can only find two right now, so I'm just showing you. Really, really, really highly recommend. If I can find a place that sells this, I'm going to put it down in the bottom bar. If you've never tried liquid liner before, don't be scared because it's not as hard as you would think. Here, I will show you. Maybe you can see it. Is it focused? Yeah, so this is the eyeliner that I always use to get my cat eye. I really, really recommend this, so I cannot stop talking about it. And like when I, basically every time a friend goes to Japan or every time a friend is in Japan or whatever, I'm just gonna go tell them to pick me up like two of these and bring it back. And I think the cost is probably like saying like $10-ish. So it's definitely not, you know, super expensive or anything like that and I would yeah I just want to stock up in these and keep these for the rest of my life okay so the next things that I have to talk to you about are actually forever 21 clothing items <laughs> so I used to do a lot of clothing hauls back in the day like back in high school and I have some things that I want to show you so the first thing that I bought is this dress right here I've been really into like Brandy Melville style dresses, like kind of really flowy and I like that kind of style in general, like not so form fitting. So this is just another dress that's kind of in that style. It's black and it's showing up a lot brighter on camera than it actually is. It's kind of more like a brownish orangish color and not so red like in the camera. 
but you can kind of imagine it, right? And it's just a short, like, baby doll style dress. And this was actually really cheap. It was $15.90, which is really good because I think Forever 21 is getting more expensive these days. At least that's how I feel. And the sizing is kind of weird on this because it's an extra small. Usually I wear a small. Very, very rarely I'll go into a medium, but yeah, usually a small. And this is kind of even too big as an extra small. So their sizing is weird. Just be aware of that. Next thing that I bought is this top right here. I actually bought this for interviews, but I didn't have a chance to wear it because I thought it was a little bit too casual. Um, I've been going to a lot of like Japanese type interviews, which is like you need to wear a black suit and a white shirt and like black, like kind of very boring, I have to say. So haven't been able to wear this, but it's a little bit more formal than like an everyday shirt. This is a pale, pretty blue. Wow, I'm so red on camera now. Um, with the scoop neck and it has that kind of like polyester silky kind of feeling. It was $14.90 which I think is super affordable so it's nice and I wanted to pair this with black black pants or a black, um, what are those called, pencil skirts or a dark gray pencil skirt. I think would look really good with this and then tuck it in in that pencil skirt. So that's why I got this. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but I'm pretty sure I could style this anyway. Like it would work with black pants, like black jeans, like ripped things. I think it would look fine with pretty much anything as long as the color is not exactly the same. And then the next thing that I got is this shirt right here. I bought this a long time ago. It says selfie. So it's like Celine, but selfie. And it's a little crop top. So like I think I said before, I'm going to Vegas soon, so I thought something like this would be nice to wear with like high-waisted shorts or some skirt or something like that. And it's just a simple, like comfortable shirt to be in. And I really like black and I really like white and I like combinations of black and white. So this is perfect for me. Oh my gosh, I need to turn my phone off. Okay, sorry about that. And then the last thing that I got from Forever 21 that I have with me right now is this dress right here. I've been like really eyeing the bohemian trip. Is this inside out? It is inside out, sorry. I think I probably tried this on sometime. So I've been eyeing the bohemian trend and I wanted to get something like this for a while. This is a, I wanna say it's a dress, but I guess depending on if you're short or tall, it's a dress or like a shirt. For me, it is basically a dress. It covers my butt, so I am good to go. It looks like this, and then it has like a nice shoelace type thing going on in the front. And it has sleeves, so that's nice. I just wanted something that has that like embroidery pattern, this kind of like flowy, bohemian type atmosphere to it. And I wanted something white originally, but usually white at Forever 21 tends to be see-through, so obviously I don't want something see-through. And I went with this dark blue navy color. I really love this. I hope that I get a chance to wear it soon. I think it would look really great with like nude sandals or gladiators or even pumps and mules. So excited to wear this and style it for the summer. Next I have two things from Foreign Exchange and like I said before, I really like that Brandy Melville style of like very loose fitting California type. But Brandy Melville is so expensive and I usually like the fit is a little bit too big on me usually so I haven't bought anything there recently or like I only own like three things in my closet I just like everything on their stupid website anyway so I wanted to go for that Brandy Melville type look this summer I guess and I picked up this cardigan from Foreign Exchange which is really similar to the Brandy Melville cardigans it has the same feel it has that same contrast what is this called? drawstring thing to it and it has that same kind of like loose fit and what size did I get this in? I think I got this in a small yeah and it was $24 versus I don't know maybe 30 closer to 30 that you would pay for Brandy Melville and for me foreign exchange is closer than Brandy and it's easier to get to so that's also a big plus for me I just wanted a color like this because I have a black Brandy Melville cardigan that looks similar to this, kind of a heavier weight. I have a gray one that is actually almost exactly like this, but it doesn't have this contrast drawstring. And then now I have this blue one. And I think dark navy or navy colors will be really popular in the summer, going with like cotton and linen and some whites and stuff like that. So that is why I got this. And then, let me just drop it on the floor. 
I have a pair of shorts that are backwards. They look like this. They are just cute floral shorts. And I've been wanting to get more of these kind of comfortable floral shorts for a while now. And I don't know, I guess I just never jumped on that bandwagon until now. And I really don't like how some of the shorts will have like petals like this. I look like I'm just pointing at my boobs. But they will have like this tuliping effect on the front and I really don't like that. I think it looks really weird like you want to be a ladybug or something like that. So I just wanted to get a pair of shorts that are just normal. So these are pretty normal and it's nice because they have this like string. Um, they have this lace up effect on the front and it's a little bit high waisted so you can tuck things in and make yourself look a little bit longer along your legs. Important for me because I am a shorty. So yeah, this and that which is on the floor, with the two things that I got from Foreign Exchange. All right, so that's the end of my haul. Thank you so much for watching, and please comment, rate, subscribe if you like the video. Like it, give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you soon, bye.